Hi everyone, it's just a little video on how to integrate GSA Beacon. Um, keep in mind that my particular circumstance of the way I'm doing things may not necessarily apply. There are a lot of variables such as whether or not your server has the configuration you want already or if you made it in Beacon first. Uh, as well as whether or not you're starting from scratch on Beacon or whether or not you're starting from scratch on GSA. So I'm going to first start by going over quickly how to simply create the config template that you need in order to integrate with Beacon. So the way that this works is uh, I have two servers currently and they have this config template applied to it. What happens is this config template is what Beacon sees and writes to. So the first thing that you have to do before you can integrate it all is you need to create a config template. You can create as many as you want based on how many servers you have for the sake of this video. I'm just going to call this one temp template. So you type in a name and you just hit create template. Okay, from there it brings up this is the actual template this is actually the the meat and potatoes of server configuration options as they're presented to you technically speaking uh, when beacon goes to write to this template it will automatically apply advanced mode to the template so you don't have to worry about it for the sake of avoiding any potential problems I'm just going to go ahead and do that manually simply by hitting this pull down arrow by save settings, say switch to advanced mode, and then save settings. So this screen here now becomes the raw GUS game dynamic config chain and so forth. These are essentially what the raw files will look like that Arc looks at to run your server. Once you have that template created, you then need to go back into the Game Servers tab. And you're going to hit Settings button. Or you could do it from up here too, but I'm just going to do it this way. Hit Settings on the server you want to change. And then over here you're going to see this Config Template set. And you're going to set the new one that you just made. I guess they save change. So what that did was that gave Beacon a backdoor into this specific server's settings. Once you've gone ahead and done that, the next thing you have to do is integrate Beacon and G GSA itself. So the way to do that is return to GSA. And on your side screen, you're going to see under configure, you say API and integrate. You're going to click that. You're going to see this screen here. And available integrations, the top one here is Beacon. Beacon's a tool for building our config server. What you have to do is you're going to say issue token. And it's going to bring up this screen. And just a fair warning, you don't want anyone to see this token. But in this box, there is a bunch of characters that you're going to just go ahead and highlight, copy. Again, don't let anyone see this. Uh, from there, you're going to return the beacon. And we're going to say import. And then you're going to choose gameserverapp.com. And you're going to see Game Server App API Token. And you're going to put a name for the token. We're just going to call it Beacon GSA. And you're going to just paste the contents of that token over. And say Next. Now it says Finding Config Templates. So right now I now have three config templates. And I'm going to go ahead and import all three of them. The other two are existing. But I'm going to go ahead and add this one as well. So now I have my fresh one. And I'll say next. Okay. 
So now it's it's making the link between Beacon and PSA for Beacon to be able to modify those. From there, you're going to end up at this import screen. And this is where mileage is going to vary quite a bit, depending on how fresh you are and what source you prefer to take the lead on what gets imported and what doesn't. If your server is already configured the way you want and you haven't played with Beacon yet, import everything. If Beacon already has configuration, and you're just starting on GSA, only import the template link. Uh, otherwise, you know, it could be you have a hodgepodge of the two. So you'd have to go ahead and read each of these off and uh, make a decision from there. So I am just going to personally import template links myself for the sake of this conversation. I'm actually going to be redoing this a little bit later. Okay, so now it says game server app, account name, beacon GSA, used by three servers. Okay, that's officially all you need to get started. I'm going to go ahead and test out the, the new deploy and make sure it's functioning properly and prove the the fact that it works as follows. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the servers tab and here we can see my three config templates. It's not actually showing you your servers, it's just showing you the different templates you have. And that's just because it was a unique way to make the two systems work with each other. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to choose my temp template. And I'm going to apply a special message of the day to prove that things work properly. From there I'm just going to go into to deploy and uh, I'm going to choose temp template and I'm going to I'm not going to allow I'm not going to review the changes I'm not going to back it up first uh, it doesn't hurt to do either of those I'm just going to say begin and the first time you go to deploy, it's going to say, hey, your game I and I is missing this header. Well, of course it is because it hasn't been made yet. So we're just going to say continue anyway. And the deploy process is finished. So now I'm going to go back to GSA. And I'm going to choose... Game servers tab. Actually, you probably just hit config templates tab, it'd be a little easier. And I'm going to click the temp template tag. And in here, I should be able to find the MOTD that I made. There it is. But as you can see, Anything I do in Beacon is officially being written to this temp template, and that temp template is applied to this server. Therefore, any changes I make in Beacon will apply that server. So, let's do one more thing really quick, and we're going to say I want to see Raptor Claws in a drop. Uh, this is not a drop that's valid right now, but I'm just doing a quick one just so you can see that it generates all the information it's supposed to. So I'll just add a couple quick item sets and a couple quick items to them. And you can see that it will have added the appropriate INI settings to beacon or to the config template to prove that the system works properly again so we'll just hit deploy and template i'm not going to review i'm not going to back up although you can it doesn't hurt 
and I'm deploying. And deploy process is finished. I will return the GSA. Edit the template. And here it is. Here's my Raptor Claw stuff. Right here. So there's really not that much to it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it works well. It's a great fusion of two separate great pro um, different products. I'm very glad to have uh, come across them. If anyone has any questions about how this might work, please feel free to reach out to either the Beacon or the GSA Discords because both of them are filled with marvelous experts that want to help. So thank you and take care.